Your heating and hot water is controlled from this panel here. Whenever you want to do anything, just press the button in the centre. Across the top here, we've got heating, hot water, energy selection and fan speed. To go into one of the options, we just turn the dial until it's flashing. So to adjust the heating, we're flashing on heating, click on the centre button. Turn the dial to the temperature you want the van at and click again. When we go back to the main screen, we can now see that we've got the heating running. As soon as the boiler starts to operate, that will start flashing to show that the heating's working. To turn the heating off again, do the exact opposite. Click into the menu, it's flashing on heating, click again and turn the dial all the way back to the left till it says off. Click the button and the heating's now off. To use the hot water, click into the main menu, go one click to the right so we're flashing on water and then click in again. So we've got three options here. We've got Eco which heats the water to 40 degrees, we've got Hot which heats it to 65 and then we've got a boost function which overrides everything and heats the water up as quickly as possible. For the most part you're just going to use the Hot. So if we click on that, when we go back to the main screen now, we can see we've got the water on and it's set on hot. An easy way to tell whether you've got a tank of hot water or not is whether this is flashing. Once the boiler's kicked in, this will start flashing to show that the hot water's heating. Once you've got a full tank of hot water, this will go solid. To turn it off, follow the procedure in reverse, go into the menu, into your water settings, turn the dial back to the left and click on it again. Now with this boiler we can choose to run it off gas or electric or a combination of both. If you're on site and plugged into mains then we suggest you use it off electric to save your gas. If you're not on site or you are on site but you don't have a hookup, then just run it off the gas. So to change the energy selection, click into the menu and we're going to go two clicks to the right to come over to this symbol here. Click into it and we can see at the moment it's set to gas and at the top we've got the gas bottle symbol. So we can either run this on a mix of gas or electric or a partial or full electric. There's only two settings that you're really going to use and that'll be either full gas or full electric. When we're set on electric you can see at the top the symbol changes from a gas bottle symbol to the electrical flashes. If we click into that, when we turn something on now and come back to the main screen we can see we've got the water on but the symbol at the top, rather than being the gas bottle, is now the electrical flashes. When you've got the heating switched on, you have a choice of fan speeds. So if we go into the menu, come all the way over to the right to the fan symbol, click into it, and we've either got Eco or High. Eco is fine for day-to-day -day use, it will heat the van through but if you do need a quick uh, boost, then you can turn the fan on to high. I wouldn't recommend having the fan on high overnight if you're leaving the heating switched on, because it is quite noisy. On Eco, you can barely hear it at all.